Hi, Waukegan. I'm Mitch Rivertella, manager of communications for Waukegan Public Schools, and this is 60 and 60 for the week of March 9th. We've got a lot to get to, so let's get to it. Land owned by our district may soon be home to one of the largest community solar fields in Illinois and a development that may also save some residents on their electric bills. Solar developer BQ Energy is in the process of preparing to construct a 7 megawatt solar energy farm on the currently vacant Newman Creek site where District 60 owns more than 45 acres. Several hurdles have already been cleared to make this project a reality, and if finalized, construction is expected to begin this year. As a community solar project, low-income residents would have a chance to apply to save 50% on their electric bills. Additional information on this plan is available on the district's website, with more details to follow in the coming months and weeks. Congratulations to Waukegan High School's JROTC program, which was recently designated as an honor unit with Gold Star Distinction following a formal JROTC program of accreditation and inspection recently. The inspection covers every facet of the JROTC program, including its work in the classroom, the school, and community. This designation is the highest standing a JROTC program can receive. The program earned a score of 98.5 out of a possible 100, which is the highest any squad has received in the program's 103-year history. White's Field's new field lights were taken for his test spin earlier this month. Field and parking lot lights at the stadium were installed this summer and fall at a cost of $486,000. Buckingham High School will begin hosting a select number of athletic and music events under the lights this spring. Students and staff at Clark, Hyde Park, Whittier, and Cook Magnet Elementaries have been selected as recipients of the Fuel Up to Play 60 Breakfast Opportunity Grant. The grant will provide each school with $2,000 in funding, which will be utilized to purchase additional equipment and supplies to enhance its current breakfast program. Thank you, Fuel Up to Play 60, for supporting our students. And finally, with the latest news and information concerning the COVID-19 virus changing rapidly, District 60 is continuing to monitor health advisories related to the spread of the coronavirus. The community can find continuous updates on the latest developments on our website, where we detail district actions and provide important health information. We continue to take guidance from health officials and we will continue to update our families with any important information. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in each week as we bring you the latest news and events happening around Waukegan Public Schools. <laughs>